Well, bed bugs at your child's school. It's not the news any parent wants to get. But it is the news some parents have gotten in Boiling Springs, and that's where our Seth Kaplan joins us tonight. Seth. Live outside Iron Forge Elementary School, more specifically, Valerie and Alicia. It's located next to Yellow Breaches Middle School and Boiling Springs High School. And one parent who we spoke with says that location is part of the story. I want to say two months ago, there was a bed bug situation in the high school. And then yesterday, apparently there's one in the middle school and now also the one at Iron Forge. Iron Forge Elementary School. The parents spoke with us by phone and asked us not to identify them. I got the email um, from the principal. This email Wednesday afternoon to all parents that the school had found bed bugs and parents with children in close contact with affected areas would get another message. So then a couple minutes later, I got this follow up email from the principal that my daughter's classroom was one of the ones that they found the bed bug in. That parent's feeling? I was just a little concerned because they said that the school would be treated, but they didn't say how they were going to treat it um, and what their protocol was as far as checking the students for any other issues. Parents at this Iron Forge Elementary bus stop didn't want to speak on camera. We asked the school district for an explanation. They gave us this statement that their quote, number one goal is to provide a safe and supportive learning environment for all members of the school community. Prompt action was taken regarding the recent bed bug discovery, including inspections and treatments by professional pest control experts. We are addressing the situation and supporting those impacted. And they gave us a copy of this new email, which went out to parents Thursday afternoon, saying the school underwent a thorough treatment and inspection Wednesday night, which turned up no new bed bugs. But another inspection was scheduled Thursday night. The one parent who wanted to speak once more. I wish they would maybe take the time, close the school down a day early, take the weekend to really like investigate, make sure there aren't any other bed bugs somewhere. School district says it is addressing the issue aggressively and working closely with affected families. It says it just can't share more details because it doesn't want to compromise the confidentiality of those affected families. Live in Cumberland County, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.